Sustainable development, like sustainability, is regarded to have three dimensions, the environment, the economy, and the society. This framework, has been expanded by some authors, to include a fourth pillar of culture, institutions, or governance. The nested circles diagram, of the three dimensions of sustainability, implies a situation where, the society is embedded, in the environment, and the economic conditions are embedded, in the society. A similar depiction, of the three dimensions, or systems, is the SDG, wedding cake model, where the economy is a smaller subset, of the societal system, that in turn, is a smaller subset, of the environmental, or the biosphere system, on which all life depends. As global population have increased, so has the use of various materials, including raw materials, minerals, synthetic chemicals, including hazardous substances, manufactured products, food, and waste. By 2050, humanity could consume, an estimated 140 billion tons, of minerals, ores, fossil fuels, and biomass per year, three times its current amount, unless the economic growth rate, is decoupled from, the rate of natural resource consumption. Developed countries' citizens, consume an average, of 16 tons, of those four key resources, per capita, per year, ranging up to 40, or more tons per person, in some developed countries, with resource consumption levels, far beyond, what is likely sustainable. By comparison, the average person in India, consumes 4 tons per year. Sustainable use of materials, has targeted the idea, of dematerialization, by converting the linear path, of materials, like extraction, use, and disposal in landfills, to a circular material flow, that reuses materials, as much as possible, much like the cycling, and reuse of waste in nature. This way of thinking, is expressed in the concept, of circular economy, which employs reuse, sharing, repair, refurbishment, remanufacturing, and recycling, to create a closed-loop system minimizing the use of resource inputs, and the creation of waste, pollution, and carbon emissions. The European Commission, has adopted an ambitious, circular economy action plan, in 2020, which aims at making, sustainable products the norm, in the European Union.